So many of you guys have been asking for more recipes and ideas for how to use the garden in plant-based meals. So that's what we're gonna talk about today in this video. Hi beautiful friends, welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I'm Jen and today I am going to be turning garlic scapes into homemade pesto. As a reminder, garlic scapes are essentially the flower stem of hardneck garlic varieties. They come up about a month before you are going to be harvesting your garlic bulbs and you just pinch off the scape at the base. You can use it for pesto, you can use it for fresh cooking, you can use it to make garlic scape pickles. Let me show you guys what they look like real quick. Okay, so here we have our garlic and right here is a garlic scape. The recipe I'm going to be using today for the garlic scapes is from Fruition Seeds, which is my favorite seed company out of Naples, New York. And she made a little ebook about what you can use garlic scapes for. And one of the recipes is garlic scape pesto. So the other thing I'm going to pick real quickly from the garden is some basil. Grab this little pod and pick some of this basil. With him. When I see your face, I can stop myself from spiraling. Now I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling down. If you're wondering why I only picked one garlic scape, it's not because the recipe you only need one. It's because I actually harvested about a dozen garlic scapes during my garden tour video that I just posted on Monday. Okay, I'm here in the kitchen for this recipe. We will be using. Oh, whoops, I left my phone. And my phone has a recipe on it. One second. Now, for this recipe, we will be using about a dozen garlic scapes, a fourth cup of walnuts, a half cup of olive oil, and about a half cup of basil leaves, the rest of this lemon, some salt, and I'm going to be using nutritional yeast. This recipe calls for a fourth cup of Parmesan, which is optional, but since we're dairy free, we're going to be using nutritional yeast instead of Parmesan. Nutritional yeast has a cheesy flavor, but it is totally vegan. Um, and the added bonus, it has a lot of vitamin B12 added to it. So I've got 12 garlic scapes right here. See, they're beautiful. I'm gonna give these a quick chop. Instead of using a food processor for this recipe, I'm going to be using our Vitamix. But I will try my best to carry on without you like you've done. Though I'm lost and out of breath, I will carry on with the lovely scapes right there. Whoops. <laughs> Rolling off the cutting board. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the blender. And then work on the other ingredients. So it wants me to just pulse these for 30 seconds. Smells garlicky in here for sure. Now four cup of nuts. a little bit more. I'm just gonna push everything down so it blends well. You can use a food processor for this too. It doesn't have to be a Vitamix. Right now it's a little too solid to blend well. So one of the benefits of using a food processor, but that's okay. I'll just add the other, the wet ingredients first. So I need olive oil and then nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast will often come in a container just like this one. About a fourth cup. 
and then a half cup of olive oil. Okay, then I'm just gonna add the lemon. This lemon is actually rotted out, so I am going to use some lemon juice instead. Or some lime juice, because it looks like we don't have any lemon juice. Teaspoon of salt. Okay, now I just need to add the basil leaves, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse, um, pull them off the stems and rinse them. This is a super, super easy recipe, and I love that about pesto. You can find like a million um, different ways to make it with different types of herbs, alliums. Okay, I actually really didn't need the store-bought basil. I pretty much had plenty. I'm just gonna rip it. I love basil so much. I've been eating it every morning for breakfast on a piece of avocado toast. Let's see, it smells delicious. It tastes really good too. So I have this little ice mold I'm gonna spoon it into. But first I'm gonna put it in one of these small little jam jars. You could see yourself just sitting there on my chair. I'm staring at you. You don't even notice. Okay, I made the pesto. It's in a jar. Okay, now that this pesto is made, I'm going to go ahead and whip up a quick little flatbread. So a lot of you have been requesting more recipes and ideas for how we use our garden and plant-based meals. And honestly, so much of it is spontaneous. Like today, I knew I wanted to make some garlic skate pesto and thought, well, maybe it's a good time to make a second lunch because my first lunch was really small and I'm really hungry still. Um, and yes, second lunch is a thing when you're pregnant and trying to eat smaller meals more frequently throughout the day. So I thought about it and what pesto is so good on is things like flatbread and pizza and sandwiches. And I remember we had a piece of naan left in the fridge, so I decided I'll grab that piece of naan, slather some of the pesto on it, put a little bit of vegan mozzarella cheese, and we had some leftover tomato in the fridge from Greek wraps we made the other night. We have a little bit of broccoli that I harvested, and so I'll top it off with those things, and it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven. It's got pesto, a little bit of vegan mozzarella, homegrown broccoli, and a little tomato. I'm just gonna put it in for like 11 minutes. I wish I could show you more, cause baby you deserve some more, but still you're here. This looks super delicious. I'm just gonna put some fresh basil on it. Okay, now I'm gonna go eat, but I guess I should try, probably try a bite in front of you guys first, huh? Mm. So much garlic, so much goodness. Me and this flatbread have a nice little date now, so we'll see you guys later. Bye, friends.